In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure a guest access wireless LAN using a shared password with the Unleashed user interface. By creating a guest wireless LAN, visitors to your organization can be allowed limited or unlimited access to your wireless network with configurable guest access policies. So from the Unleashed dashboard, I'll click on Wi-Fi networks, and I'm going to select Create. I'll give my network a name, and I'm going to call it guest Wi-Fi shared password and what I'm going to do under the usage type is select guest access guest access policies and access control will be applied I'll leave the enable zero IT unticked the guest pass and social login will be tagged I'm not going to do a unique password but a single shared password and I'll put that in here and it's going to be guest one two three four normally you'd have a more cryptic password under grace period, this allows users to reconnect without re-authentication for a certain number of minutes. Normally you would have this tick, but because of this is a demo and I may want to log in more than once and show the connection, I'm going to untick that. So this just means that when you reconnect, you're going to have to put in the password. Authentication method will be open since we've got a password here. An accounting server is disabled under my advanced features. My priority is high. My default access VLAN is one, but I could enable dynamic VLAN if I wanted to change that. Maximum clients by default is 100. I could put plus or minus uh, a number of clients on that. And the service schedule is always on, always off, or specific. If I want to put specific, so for example, I could go Monday through Friday. If I wanted to put in like 8 to 6 p.m., and that would only allow them access during that period of time. Maybe you don't want people driving in your parking lot at night using your Wi-Fi, but I'm going to select Always On. And this is where I configure my captive portal. Social media login, I'm not going to demonstrate that on this video. We have a separate video for that. Guest pass self-service, we have a separate video on how to do that. User redirection URL, normally you want to direct people to your website. So we'll put in the Recus website just as a demonstration. The next thing is the customization of my portal. So for example, I could edit the banner. So if I wanted to have a custom logo on that, I could do that. So we'll go ahead and select a piece of art since we're showing the art studio here. And I'll click OK on that. Logo, we're going to go ahead and put in a custom logo for that. We'll just throw in a piece of art for that. And my welcome message that can be edited. And I'll say, welcome to the Iwani Art Studio. And then we'll click OK on that. And now if I go to Preview, this will show me what the user will see when they log on to that wireless LAN. So they should be redirected to this captive portal. They would then put in the shared password, and then they would click on Connect. So we'll click OK for that. And if it looks the way we want to, we'll go ahead and click OK. And that will create the wireless LAN. Now we can see that we have the wireless LAN here, guest Wi-Fi shared password. For some reason, I wanted to edit that. I could highlight it, go back and hit edit, and I could go ahead and change things if I wanted to do that. I'm going to cancel out of that. I could disable that network, or I could delete that network. And that's all you need to do to set up a guest access wireless LAN using a shared password. What I'm going to do is put on my client hat, log into that network, and just show you what it looks like. So I'll go to my networks, and here is my guest Wi-Fi shared password. I'm going to connect to that, and that directs me to the captive portal. So I have my logos, welcome to the Iwani Art Studio, and now I'm going to put in my guest path. So our guest pass was guest, one, two, three, four, and then I press on connect. It says you are successfully authenticated, and then press continue. And that then redirects me to the website that I had on my URL redirection. So that's all I need to do to set up a guest access wireless LAN using a shared password with the Unleashed user interface.